Welcome into PFF TV. Austin Gale here with Mike Renner, the host of PFF's Two for One Drafts podcast. Make sure to check that out. But today we are continuing our draft profile series, going CeeDee Lamb of Oklahoma. Wide receiver 1A, 1B, depending on how you see Jerry Judy. But no matter what, this guy is a very, very good prospect. Yeah, last year, you know, at this time, we were saying he looked like a better prospect than Marquise Brown was better at times on the football field for Oklahoma. Marquise Brown, obviously, the first wide receiver drafted in the 2019 draft. CeeDee Lamb, though, 2019 took his game to another level led the whole draft class in terms of the arts per route. And he's only 20 years old. Doesn't turn 21 until right before the draft. Wow. Young, productive, lots of like buzzy. Yeah, I, I would agree with you 100%. Let's get in specifically with his pros. Give me this list of positives in CD's game. I know there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a ton of positives. He is absurdly good after the catch, arguably the best in all of college football. 26 broken tackles this past season on only 62 catches. That was the second most broken tackles of any receiver in college football. It's not like they're just pumping him screens and he's doing stuff like that. His average depth of target was well over 10 yards down the football field. He's breaking tackles you know, on deeper routes and making big plays even bigger. So that's probably his biggest, but then his ability to get open, his ability to separate is top notch as well. The shake in his routes, the sort of uncoachable things uh, that some guys just have at the receiver position, C.D. Lamb has and then he's excellent at the catch point. We saw him you know, against LSU. Derek Stingley out muscles him down the football field. Not a lot of guys got the better of Stingley this season. It's the completeness that really stands out to me for CeeDee Lamb. He's such a complete receiving prospect in that he has a highlight reel for every phase of the game. The yeah. releases, after the catch, catch point. This guy's got it all. I'm really impressed with that. And I know this, hard, this question is going to be tough because of that. Are there cons in his tape? And if so, what are they? Yeah, I mean, he might not have the elite athleticism. He's probably not going to run the four threes. He doesn't have that exceptional deep speed, but he, he does still get open on the deep route tree and then he probably could still stand to add some more muscle fill out his frame only 191 pounds right now at 6'2 fairly slight build you want to see him probably get into the 200 range to be a more complete receiver at the NFL level. Give me a player comparison, an NFL player comparison to CD Lamb. I think good comp is DeAndre Hopkins, just because the ball skill and body control is so absurdly good. The after the catch ability, uh, just those sort of uncoachable things that DeAndre Hopkins does, CD Lamb also does, and a similarly sized receiver. Not a bad comp. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins up there, best in the NFL. All right, last thing here, bottom line for CD Lamb, what do you see happening with him in the draft? Uh, right now, he's receiver 1A to Jerry Judy's 1A. Be. To me, he is the single most complete receiver we've scattered in our six years of grading college football prospects at PFF. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.